Brazilian report. First, what does he think is behind the decision to replace the foreign minister? Ernesto Araújo, which is by all measures the most radical foreign minister Brazil has ever had, has always been a sort of marginal figure in the Bolsonaro cabinet. He's anti-globalist, he's xenophobic, economic libertarians who are in the economy ministry, they don't like him. Big Agro doesn't like him as well because they think he may cost them money due to his antics. And uh, for months, they wanted his head in a spike. Uh, during the weekend, he accused uh, one senator of acting as a lobbyist for Huawei, the Chinese giant telecom company. And that provoked a big reaction from senators with the Senate president say that the attack against one senator is an attack against the entire Senate. So pressure for Bolsonaro to fire him uh, got to a point that uh, he could no longer stay in the cabinet. Putin had on a fake as a phrase has been said. That's what he said, had on a fake. Congress have said that Beijing delayed the supply of the coronavirus vaccine to Brazil because of funny, some of the foreign saying, ministers' said on a bike. Uh, words. He said they wanted his head on Is a spike. Is there an international a dimension to all this? Well, we don't actually know if China has delayed on purpose, but that's the feeling that we have in Brasilia. And things have gotten so bad between the former foreign minister and Chinese authorities that at one point, one source told us that uh, the Chinese ambassador to Brasilia said that he would no longer speak to the foreign minister and he would only speak to other government officials, which is, in, when we talk about diplomacy, it's unheard of, uh, an ambassador who refuses to talk to the country's foreign minister. Don't have a Nazi do foreign minister. Other resignations, well, other changes. I'm thinking, for example, the they defense minister. Follow on from that first one, then. Yes, and that was the surprising thing because uh, it took off guard almost every political observer in Brasilia that the defense minister not only resigned but resigned the way he did, with a very telling resignation letter. Uh, saying that he, quote, always protected the armed forces from being used, used as anything other than institutions of the state, which, according to some of our military sources, is as big of an indictment of the president as a military man would allow himself to make in public. He also reshuffled the justice minister, the solicitor general, uh, his chief of staff, he made a big reshuffling, which and placed yes men to those positions, which had Trump a lot for the of people uh, fearing that uh, they're the all going down together, be though. sending signals that he could try a, a sort of rupture with uh, our political and democratic order right now. One to follow clearly. That's Gustavo Ribeiro, the founder and editor in chief of the Brazilian Report. Newsday BBC.